Hello, beautiful people of the internet. What's up? It's your girl Keisha. Recently, I decided to up my retinol game and started using tetranoin. And as most of you know, when you are increasing the dosage of vitamin A that you're using on the skin, it can lead to some negative side effects like dry skin, flaking, burning, all these other sensations. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys some of my favorite products that I have been using to save my skin from the retinol dryness and peeling. And I already do have two videos talking about my retinol experience and some of my best tips for using retinol on your skin. So go ahead and click that above and then come back to this video if you haven't seen it already. If this is your first time seeing my face, my name is Lakeisha, and on this channel I post all the skincare, makeup, hair, and lifestyle related videos. If that is something you're interested in, then make sure you are subscribed. And without further ado, let's get started. I'm not going to spend too much time here. I believe I've covered this in another video before. I will post a video of my favorite current hydrating cleansers if you guys want to see that as well. But just generally for cleansers, you want to use something that's hydrating on your skin, something without actives. So it, it can be an everyday cleanser, one that's not going to irritate your skin or give you more, you know, inflammation or stripping or dryness because you're already using a product that is so dry. So anything hydrating, anything moisturizing with no actives is exactly what you're looking for. The next thing you want to do is you want to fill your skin with hydration. Hydration is very different from moisturizer because hydration is the water content that's in your skin. It's those humectant ingredients that you're adding. And moisture is those thicker bombs that are trapping the hydration inside your skin and keeping it from drying out. <laughs> you want to make sure that you balance both of these. For toners, I love layering my toners. When I use my toners, I always apply it on wet skin or damp skin. You never want to apply it on dry skin because the humectant is going to draw moisture from a water or a aqueous area to a more dry area. And you want to make sure that the top layer of your skin is more wet so that it can come down to the drier, the drier area, which will be your skin. And so I would come out of the shower, put it in my hand, pat it in my skin wait for about 10 seconds or so until it absorbs, do it again, and sometimes even a third time if I feel like my skin is that dry. But the ones that I love using currently is the April Skin Artemisia Rice Essence Toner that's made with 80% Artemis, Artemisia, sorry. And Artemisia is basically mugwort. It's one of those best kept secrets in K-Beauty, which I think recently, maybe last year, it started getting popular. But it's such an amazing product when it comes to inflammation and irritation of your skin. It's so soothing, it gives you hydration. Like, it's one of my favorite ingredients. And as you can see, I've been loving this thing. It's like basically done. <laughs> The second one that I've been loving is the Haru Haru Wonder Black Rice Hyaluronic Toner. This is another one that I love. It just has a lot of hyaluronic acid in here. It's gonna really deeply hydrate your skin and attract all those water molecules so they stay deep within the skin and you're getting the most bouncy, like luscious skin that you've ever seen. Like, this is amazing. Now, after you've applied your toner and you let that sink in for a couple seconds, the very next thing you want to do is go right in with your serums. And the serums is just a thicker version of a toner. It's just going to give more hydration to the skin, even more. Some of my favorites. So first, we have the La Roche-Posay Hallyu B5 Serum. This is a hyaluronic acid serum. This one is another one of those really amazing hydrators. It's going to be that humectant factor. It's going to really leave your skin supple and plump. I always love using a hydrating serum after a toner simply because the toner is, is basically water, but a serum is going to be a little bit thicker on your skin. It's going to really plump out the skin a little bit more than a toner would do. Your toner is your first step. This is your second step when it comes to hydration. This one has a very interesting texture. It's more of like a goo. So as you can see, it's kind of like sticking to the container as I'm doing it. It gives a really nice finish to the skin. It doesn't leave it feeling sticky or greasy or anything like that but it will just leave your skin feeling plump to the touch, which is really nice. Now, the last serum type product that I have for you guys is one that's, oops, okay. Now, the last serum type product that I have for you guys is one that's kind of new to me as well. This is the Inkyless Polyglue, Polyglue Kami, girl, okay. This thing in the jiggy <laughs> that's currently on the screen. This serum, it helps to actually lock moisture into the skin and in this case, I think it means a lot of hydration because you wouldn't put this after your moisturizer, you would put this before. So it helps to lock in hydration, sorry. So it'll create a barrier on your skin. This one's really cool to use. It, it makes your skin kind of feel like it's 
blurred in a way. Like, I love using this on its own without, you know, applying makeup or anything like this. This is great for no makeup makeup days. But in the case of using um, retinol, it really just helps to lock in that moisture and kind of create that barrier between your skin and the dryness or the drying effects that retinol can have on your skin. But yeah, it, I really do enjoy this. And especially if I've peeled my skin, this is great to use as well. And especially with the retinol, it's great to use. Another way that you're really going to help out your skin is by making sure that you're using specific ingredients that help your skin react better to retinol. And one of those, and one of my favorite ingredients, as you guys know, is niacinamide. So this is the Inculus niacinamide. This one has a plethora of benefits for your skin. It's brightening, it's soothing, it's um, oil control, it's pores, you know, cleaning out your pores as well, keeping them nice and, and, and tight and refined, reducing the appearance of that. It helps to soothe irritation, inflammation in the skin. And of course, because of how much hydration this product has and its, its capability of rebuilding your skin cells, it helps to make sure that the retinol works better and is more easily tolerated by the skin. On to moisturizers. So after you've applied your serums, you want to make sure that your skin dries. Okay, you don't want to leave any water on your skin at all. Make sure it's dry, not completely parched, but dry. You want to always apply your retinol to dry skin. And then you want to layer on a moisturizer on top. When you're moisturizing your skin, you want something that's going to lock in all of that hydration that we spent so long putting into the skin. So something thick, something non-greasy, if that's you know what you're looking for, something that's just gonna stay on your skin. Most likely you're gonna be using your retinol overnight, so you're gonna want this to be a quite a thick overnight cream. And make sure that if you're gonna be using a thick overnight cream, like these ones that I'm gonna be showing you, to put on your skincare at least two hours before going to bed or giving some sort of time there just to make sure that your moisturizer is not rubbing off on your pillow because then your skin is gonna be dry anyways. The first moisturizer is from La Roche-Posay. This is their Lippy Car Boam. This one's amazing for anyone with irritated skin. So if you already have, you know, eczema, different skin issues, this one is amazing to use. It is super thick. I love using it both on my face and my body. And it just has this buttery feeling. It blends out so nicely on your skin as well. The next product is the Dr. Dart Ceramidin Cream. This is our moisture retention shield. Now, as you can see, I've used this one quite a bit, but it's one of my favorites when it comes to rebuilding your skin barrier. A lot of these active that you're using can be damaging to your, your acid mantle. This is what the active ingredients kind of do in a sense. It's like creating micro damages in your skin to accelerate the regeneration process. And so something like this is gonna help rebuild that moisture barrier to make sure that your skin can do what it's supposed to do, which is lock moisture in. The last moisturizer would be from La Roche-Posay as well. This is their Cicaplast Boom B5 with Panthenol and Madicoside. Okay. This one is a really, really thick butter. I don't use this one all over my face because I do have combination skin, but I love using it on those particular areas, especially around the mouth. So I'll go ahead and apply my moisturizer, which one, whichever one it is, and I'll apply this on those specific areas that just need that much more. It is a little bit heavy, so if, you're, if you have oilier skin, it may not be your favorite. Um, you can definitely spot treat it if you do have areas on your skin that are peeling. But generally speaking, especially if you have dry skin, especially if it's because of the retinol, this would be really great to put on your skin. Last but not least, your skincare routine is never complete without some form of protection. There's no point in spending all of this time in hydrating your skin, treating your skin, giving yourself all these active ingredients if you're just allowing it to be damaged by the sun once again. So sunscreen is something you definitely may want to make sure you wear. Yes, you are wearing your retinol at night and it's not going to be photosensitive in the morning, but your skin in general is still exposed to the harmful rays of the sun. I do have a series on my channel where I review sunscreen specifically for melanated skin as well as problematic skin, which I have both. And so I'm always talking about sunscreens and trying them out. If you haven't seen them already, click the link above to see all of the recommendations that I have and, and my thoughts on those sunscreens. But two of my current favorites have to be the Causerex Aloe Soothing Sunscreen. This one has 50 SPF 
and three pluses. I generally like four pluses, but it is something that I really do enjoy, and that's why I'm including it in here. You want to make sure that your sunscreen does not have fragrance when you're using these type of ingredients, just to avoid any irritation. Now, fragrance, some people are not sensitive to it, but you just want to minimize as much irritation as possible. So this one is one of my favorites. Um, it does have a little bit of a scent in it, I believe, if I remember correctly, but it hasn't been irritating at all. At the end of the day, the best sunscreen for you to use is one that you're actually going to use. So this has quickly become one of my favorite sunscreens. All right, my other favorite sunscreen, as you guys know, this is like my OG, is the Black Girl Sunscreen. This one has 30 SPF with broad spectrum. And this one's made with jojoba, avocado. This one is super, super thick. Like it's a thick moisturizer. They do have another one that is a matte version. And I believe they recently came out with an additional one that is like an in-between. So it's kind of like a natural skin finish. It's not too shiny, not too matte. But I like the original. This one does not have any fragrance on it. It's great for all skin types. You just kind of let it soak in because it is going to be a little bit shiny on your skin. But because of that, it's really, really good when you have those dry patches. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Leave a comment down below and let me know what are your favorite products when you're combating dryness from retinol. I'd love to hear your thoughts. As always, click over here to see some of my previous videos. And remember to stay gorgeous, stay fabulous, because I will see you, lovely ladies and gents, in the next video. Bye.